Hi everyone, so here we are for the second part of my story. Um, so where did I leave off? I left off on uh, the, the second part of my story of why is it that I don't belong here and the fact that I was abducted and all of that. My soul was abducted, but what here on planet Earth you call soul, my energy nomad. And so where I left off was that um, this guy doesn't allow me to beam up. He was also disguised as a human, by the way. This guy was also not human. He was from another um, species, from another planet um, in the solar system as well, from another planet in the galaxy as well. Not our solar system, another planet in the galaxy as well. And this was a dense vibration species. And this guy didn't allow me to beam, uh, to beam up. He was a mole, he was disguised as a human as well. And, but he, and he pretended to be helping us and to be giving us support in this planet. Okay, every time that we would beam down to a planet to do our research, and our research was basically um, us as avians, was to monitor, was to monitor the galaxy and these solar systems and especially especially this solar system because there 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 are things about this solar system that people don't know there used to be a huge galactic war um i don't know how many millions of years ago but there but i actually talk about it in great depth in my book images of cosmology and the Gaian project i talk about it in my book of the memories that i've had from that galactic war as well and it was so big that it actually ended a couple of planets and planet earth started as a colony planet and anyway but i'm not going to get into that in detail now uh what i will share with you is that ever since that galactic war some seventh dimensional species higher dimensional species like my own back then about like my own the avians not back then still now the avians they are still very much with me they are the ones who are helping me on this planet right now because of what happened to me and because they are my family and they look for me for eons anyway so the age i know it sounds crazy no one is more skeptical would have been more skeptical about it than i am because i i'm a scientist i used to be a scientist so for me to even come out at 43 and blurp all of this out it sounds insane to me but i just can't hide from my own truth anymore and i i can't i can't i feel like it's time for me and for you for all of us to wake up to what is really going on and i'm not sharing this with you to make you feel any panicky or make your life any more chaotic than what it already is in this planet with these wars and things but because precisely the planet is as, it is, is right, as it is right now, we don't have the luxury of playing blind anymore. We need to understand what's going on so we can individually shift it and then, collective, and then collectively continue to do so. So anyway, um, where was I? I digress. Um, so I'm stranded in a dense dimensional planet now because this guy who betrayed us doesn't allow me to beam up into my spaceship. And just like that, my crew and family they lose me and i get stuck and i'm not going to give you many details from then on all i will tell you is that they plunged me into complete darkness after that for many many years possibly even decades and centuries i was plunged into darkness i was used uh in labs i was used to 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 make hybrids to make um species racial hybrids between my own species and to cross my own species and theirs um, I was not only did they remove eggs from me as they actually removed parts of my uterus. I was like, I was, I was a rat lab. They removed parts of my own uterus of my, they, they removed parts of me to try and form this big, huge, to create this huge, gigantic uterus so that they would never have to abduct, abduct someone because that's a lot of work. And also because things went really bad for them after a while because of what they did to me. My people went after them. So anyway, so basically they removed parts of my uterus inclusively, which explains the excruciating pain that I've suffered from in this lifetime that no gynecologist has ever been able to explain. I've been to... I've lost count of how many gynecologists I've been to and none of them has ever been able to explain why I used to be, why, why I've been inclusively even rushed to hospital with period pain. You know, they've given me all these diagnoses and treatments and things and it, it was never, 
it was never the diagnosis that they were that they would give me you know after making the exams they would say after doing the exams they would say everything is okay with you so we don't understand the pain because also these alien races they are aces at not leaving vest physical vestiges of what they do they work more on an energy level they remove tissue from you and and then they replace that tissue by fake tissue i still on an energy level it's like they can make um on an energy level is like they can fake physical human tissue and so the human doctor will not be able to detect what they have done but i've been pretty much i've been pretty much scalpeled and ravaged from all places my uterus i don't even know at this point if i can have children i've never tried because i was never in, i never wanted to have children in this planet i never wanted to get married or be with the guy and have to i've never wanted to live the human life because i'm not from here i knew that it, that it made no sense my being here so the whole thing of getting married and having like no i don't want to create that kind of connection with this planet of leaving my seed here i uh, you know of leaving a, a starting of matrilineal saying like no i shouldn't have even been put into the matri the matrilineal line that i'm in because it makes no sense uh, and the people who raised me in this lifetime, they are not my family. Uh, and which is why they've never felt like my family. My sister does and my brother does, but because that's a, that, that's a different story. Because I told you that these people have been trying, my people have been trying to rescue me and they've literally sent help. Uh, but my parents, I have no connection to them. They were completely horrid, horrible parents. I don't want to get into detail about it because they are still alive. Uh, but there was a lot of abuse, emotional and physical. To this very day, the emotional abuse goes on. If I connect, if I try to connect in any way, I get more of it. I really do feel for the lady who, is, who birthed me, my mother. I feel for her because I feel sometimes like she wakes up a little bit because of the love that she's developed for me and for my siblings in the meantime, obviously. She's developed this love for me. And so she wakes up from time to time and really wants to love me, but then she pulls back. Um, and I could never understand her splitness when it comes to that. I've always been really baffled and taken aback by it. It's like, she's, but this woman, this lady, she's completely split. She makes no sense, she's completely split. So I've always said she suffers from mental illness, you know, she's a person that obviously suffers from mental illness. But it's mental illness that comes from the fact that they are not aware of the two people who raised me and for my, my mother who had me and the two people who raised me, they are not aware of that, the people who received me as their daughter, but they are working for the other side and they are not aware of that. They themselves don't understand their own behavior. And I, but I feel for mom because she's, she has times in her life, she has phases where she kind of wakes up a little bit but then she goes back to being horrible and emotionally abusive. And she herself, I could always see, she doesn't understand why she does this. It's really sick. And that will also explain a lot of y'all's experiences with what we call here our parents, I'm pretty sure, right? Doesn't this explain a lot to a lot of you? I'm pretty sure it does. You, know, you can't make sense of it. Like some of the behavior is so confusing, not just hurtful, but confusing. Like she's lovely one minute and the second minute she's the devil dad is okay one minute the second minute is a monster and you say okay they are bipolar they are schizo maybe they are this maybe they are that maybe ptsd because of the traumas growing up maybe that maybe that i don't know they need to go to a doctor and see but what happens in the quantum seldom explains what we hear called mental call mental illness as well not seldom always it all comes from the quantum right and so what happens but again, I detract. What happens is that I'm stuck. These people make all of these experiments. They use me to create hybrids and this and that. They chop off my my, ut my effing uterus uh, on an energy level. So that so that then when I'm born here as Selma for this lifetime, I come with all of these uterary problems that the doctor, like I suffer from this excruciating pain where I want to kill myself because I can't handle the pain. I have to go to the you know get on an ambulance and go to hospital I'm from period pain this makes no sense and the doctors can't explain why it's because of what was done to me prior and during the course of this lifetime as well i've been abducted during my sleep so for them to go and continue their exper experiments on me 
So what did they do and why was I born here as Selma now? Because at one point, my people find, understood what happened to me and understood that it was them who had abducted me. And there's more, by the way. They used me for more darkness. They used me in other dimensions also. So, so a, a being that had already made it to the seventh dimension, all of a sudden they whoosh, dragged me down into the second dimension, into darkness. This is what they did to me for the longest time. They do the experiments on me, then they, then they do that, they do this, da, 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 da. And then at one point, my people find out where I am and they find out the avians that, the avians find out that it was this other species, this race. I don't know their name. They're ugly as fuck. And because when you are ugly inside, that translates into the outside. Pardon my French. They look, they look like what they are. Ugh. I'm not going to describe them because I don't want to tap into their energy. I've ridded myself of it. Now I don't want to tap into their energy. And you can still see anger. I'm sorry, but I am still angry about it. And I'm, I'm working on it. And I'll be working on it for the rest of this lifetime. I'm still very angry and I'm sorry because this is not a love and light channel. This is a truth channel where I'm in the most raw possible way sharing the truth of this place with you. Okay, this is 3D. This is not a place of bliss and happiness. This is a place of work. This is a place where we have to work to improve. This is a place where you have to work to improve yourself. And my being here and having been dragged into 3D, now I have all of these 3D emotions about what happened to me. This is what they did. I was already beyond that. And now they, they basically bring me back, you know, into a place where the last time where I'd been had been like in the second century, you know, of this planet, very long time ago. And I had already evolved past this. And now I'm back and now they drag me down. They literally drag my, my vibration down and plunge me into darkness. And so uh, I don't want to be angry because that's not the vibe where I want to be in. I want to go back to 7D after this life. I want to go back to join my people, the avians. But now that I'm here, I might as well do something about it. And this is why I'm sharing. So, which is, and, and me, my people, they've told me my, themselves, you're doing the right thing and can please continue and do more of it while you're there. Since you have to be there, just educate these people, just tell them what you know, so that hopefully you will help them propel into the next evolution, their next evolutionary stage faster as well. And, you know, increase their vibration. Um, a lot of people in my situation, that's what they're doing right now, because what else are we going to do other than paying the taxes that you have to pay and then, you know, paying, paying bills and working and what all the horrible 3D dense reality things that shit that we have to do. Oh, sorry. Anyway, moving on. So, um, meaningless and senseless to me because I was beyond that already before this experience. Anyway, so what do they do once my people, the avians, catch up to the fact that they were the ones who did this to me, they go after them. So what do they do? They hide me. They hide me in this planet. And they, um, what they do is that they reincarnate my soul. They pull it down, uh, they pull it into 3D and they pull my soul into my mother's uterus, the woman who is my mother in this lifetime. And that's why when my parents used to tell me, Selma, you were such a wanted daughter. I don't know why you are like that to us right now. You were such a wanted daughter. And I'm like, you're, you literally treat, treat me like shit. You physically, mentally, and emotionally torture me. And then you see, the, you see the psychosis, and then you try and play that card of, but you were such a wanted daughter. And I'm like, why did you want me so much to, if you treat me like shit? That doesn't make any sense. Like people, can you see, the two of you, can you see the dissonance? Then why do you treat me like shit if you wanted me so much? Because then they do this emotional blackmail as well. They would do this emotional blackmail as well, but because they themselves wouldn't understand, we wanted her so much. We wanted her so much. We really wanted her. So why does she treat it? Why? So why is it that our relationship with her doesn't work, right? Because we really wanted her. And I'm thinking, yes, if you really wanted me, why do you treat me like shit? Why do you physically, emotionally, and mentally abuse me? You know, and I'm not going to get into details about the things that they would do because it would do because it's still hurtful, especially mom, <laughs> you know, 
uh why then why all of then why do you start treating me like monsters all of a sudden if you really wanted me so much like yeah yeah i'd like to know you explain that to me but they couldn't and they can't because they are not conscious they are not conscious enough they themselves have no understanding what's going on of what's going on so what went on is that this couple that couple my that are now my parents in this life but are but who are not my family really they were really young and both of them decided to get out of their respective toxic houses their households were both respected and so they decided to get together and have a child so they could leave you know pretty much because once my mom is pregnant then their families have to say yes you can get married and you should get married now because you've already done the deed. do you know what i mean so that's what happened in the 70s in the late 70s to the with these two and they really wanted to have a baby not oh, First, because they wanted to leave their respective houses. So they used me even for that. You know what I mean? I'm not even here yet. And they are already using me as a prop, you know, to improve their lives. And then after that, mom just see, just, just thinks that I really want to be a mother. She says that above all, she really wanted to be a mother and have a baby regardless. Because her family was crap. Very abusive physically and emotionally as well. Uh... And I really wanted you and I really wanted you. So what happened in the quantum is that this couple in their during dream stage, and this happens a lot to everybody before they have a child. But if it's a thing of light, it's wonderful, right? And it should be. Pregnancy and giving birth should be a thing of light. The problem is that we live in 3D and in 3D you have the light and you have the darkness. You have the light and you have the density, right? And so you also have the, den the, the density, the reverse plan or inverse plan working, not just the plan of light that comes from God. And so they've subverted pregnancy and they have used some women uh, and men for evil, for their dense reality plans. So this species, what they do is that they implant me in my mother, but before they implant me in my mother, um, in dream state, this couple meets in the quantum with these people because their souls work for these people, they just don't know. They belong to this dense vibration race that abducted me, but they don't know the people who play my, my parents in this life. You see what I'm trying to tell you? But they don't know, they're not conscious because once we are planted in this planet, our memories are erased. So they don't know that they work for the other side. The inverse plan for the dense, this dense and this one dense vibration, specifically dense vibration species. I don't know if you're still following. I really hope you are. If you're not, I'm sorry, but I can't explain it any better than this. I can try though. So drop the questions in your comments. I told you that we were really going down the rabbit hole. I told you that it was really going out there. I told you that there is no amount of sci-fi that you can have watched that equates to this. So again, if you think that it's too much, oh, this is, this is BS. Come on, she's making it up, obviously. It's like Scientology all of a sudden. Fine, just keep it moving, but please don't be mean in the comments, um, because if you are, I will delete them and block them, because I have to protect myself, otherwise I won't, and my energy, otherwise I won't be able to deliver the message and do the work, okay? And this is all I can do right now, being that I'm stuck in this place, is, is in this place, is do this work, as I told you. So, if you don't respect it, if you don't care for it, just keep it moving. There's no point in being mean. There's another, this, that's another thing that this species still is yet to learn as well, is that, there's no point in trying to degrade or debase someone. It, it's senseless uh, trying to bully someone because you don't believe in what they are saying. I'm not pre here to try and convince you or anyone. I'm simply sharing my truth and in doing so, try to bring some truth and information into this planet that so very much needs it right now. And the souls of this planet that so very much need it right now so that they can evade the density in which they've been living for so many centuries and millennia. It's 2024 time, as Cat Williams says, okay? So, if it doesn't resonate with you, if you think that it's too much, I get it. I get you because that's where I was for a very long time. Oh, like, that's, this is way too out there for me. Like, nonsense, whatever. I get it because that's where I used to be, if that's how you feel. But there's just no point in being mean. I remember when something didn't resonate with me online a few years ago, when people would talk about uh, things that sounded out there to me, I would just change to another channel i would just stop watching and watch something else so i really don't get you have to be to have a very dense very dense vibe you have to be very unconscious and very dense to before changing to another planet feel the need to drop a, a meal a, a, a mean or evil comment to, to feel the need to bully the person or hurt the person before you move on you have to be a very dense soul very unconscious and very dark soul with a very dark heart 
in order to feel like you have to do that because it doesn't make any sense to me what happened then is that my parents were pulled into the quantum during of the people who play my parents in this lifetime and this happens during dream time and they were instructed you are you are to have this child you are to receive this soul this soul is coming in because we have to hide this soul you know uh we've uh, stolen her as you know we've abducted her and her people the uh, the the avians they found out where she is and they are coming after us so we're going to hide it now and we're going to hide her with you on planet earth 3d planet earth and you're going to raise her as your child and so that's what happened that's why I was born into these two people that are supposed to be my parents on planet Earth. But that's why there's no connection between them. That's why, other than the physical DNA connection, which was imposed on me, which was imposed on us, there is no spiritual connection. We didn't know each other prior. Usually when you are born into a set of parents, you have already met them from other lifetimes. Usually you are soulmates. Usually you are people that you have either a Dharmic or a Karmic connection to. Sometimes there are people, sometimes children are karma. There are karmic connections that you have to dissolve. Other times they're just, they're dharmic connections, just support that comes into your life, you know, to help you heal and support whatever. Children can be all of those things, but they usually are someone that you've already had the connection with, that you have a spiritual connection with, other than a physical connection with. With my parents, obviously there's a DNA line imposed, imposed on me that it was, uh, because it was done without my agreement. It was done without me being able to exert my free will and choose. Because usually what happens is that on the other side, in these astral layers of light, this is how pregnancies of light occur. In the astral layers of light, what happens is that you and your parents agree that you are going to be born into them. You meet uh, with them in what here we call lucid dreaming state. And then when they wake up, they don't remember the dream that they had where they don't remember the dream where they had where they signed the contract with you on the other side for you to be born through them but they have done so which is why you are being born through them when it's of density when it's, it's pregnancies of density and of darkness and of the other side the re, of the reverse plan the same happens but you usually either without your free will but usually without your free will without your consent right or with your see my consent that's another game that they play with souls that want to be born through them but don't exactly know who their parents are going to be so i'd been abducted so this was done without my consent uh and now I, I was hidden i was uh, these people were told raise her in 3d so we can hide her there on, in that 3d planet in the ghetto <laughs> you know raise her in the ghetto and literally for the fir the first three years of my life i was living in a slum and then they worked their way up to uh, upper middle class because they were war refugees, so had no money. But then they worked uh, there. My father, the father, the one who raised me as my father, worked his way up to uh, upper middle class. And that's that. And so physically there's the DNA connection now, which was imposed onto me, but which is why it's so severed because it was done without my consent. Um, they stole my free will away from me, which karmically is going to have a lot of repercussions for them, obviously, as well. If you steal someone's free will, that's the worst thing that you can do to another uh, soul, is to steal their free will away, that there's free will from them. And karmically, you have no idea if you what you are harnessing for yourself when you do something like that. And um as for spiritual connection we had i had none because actually again the people who portray my parents in this lifetime which explains the way they treated me we have no spiritual connection and there's no love there was only control and emotional abuse and physical abuse even from my mother and which she claims that never happened now they also lie to their teeth it's it's a part of their splitness and because they come from the shadow they don't even know themselves why is it that they lie because again, they have no consciousness. Whereas I have awakened in the meantime, they haven't, they remember nothing. So they don't know even that they are working for the shadows. And this is it for now. There's a third part to this video where I wrap it up, where I tell you where I then went from there after understanding all of this, what I'm doing now, and what could be also your situation because there, because again, each path is, is, is its own path. 
this has been what's happening to me and why it is that I've always felt like I don't belong here because I really don't. I was literally abducted. So now you know that abduction could be one of the reasons, but that's an extreme, that's the most extreme thing. So basically the most extreme thing that can happen to a soul is what happened to me. I'm telling you this bioengineering uh, specialist, uh, quantum bioengineering doctor, she didn't even, she didn't even know how to tell me. And I remember, I, she's like, I don't know how to tell you this, Selma. Basically, the worst thing that could have possibly happened to your soul happened to you. And I remember just telling her, go ahead. I remember almost everything. And I think that I know what you are going to say. And sure enough, she did. I was like, I can't be, I can't get shocked. I don't get shocked with anything anymore because I, I've remembered uh, and I've seen horrible things. And I think that I know what happened to me. I know what happened to me. But just say it. You say it. You spell it out and we'll see. And sure enough, she was completely correct. And she did help me putting together even more of the puzzle. Uh, so what happened to me was the extreme. So I'm not saying that you were kidnapped as well, but, th but there are other things that happened that I've had access to in the quantum as well. And so in the next video, we will wrap up my situation and then I will quickly move on into telling you what are the options and what, uh, what are the many reasons why you may, you, feel like you, you feel like you don't belong here and, and and i'm telling you if you feel like that it's because you really don't and something happened but the good news that i will also give you at the end of the next video is that there are always a way to work around it there are always ways of solve of solving it and working around it and that if you do the work in the end everything will be okay i love you all and i'll see you there for uh the next one